everybody welcome back we're heading back in the jungle at night at night i don't know i don't know how i'd feel about a jungle at night i've i've been in many jungles but no i don't, I don't too many noises coyotes are gonna eat me especially with pokemon arbucks uh earth rings may eat you dude that's t that's terrifying Oh, hi, Yan, uh, Yan Mega. Yo, is that a flippin' Metapod, though? Where's the Metapods at? Where are the Metapods at? That is Ariados? I knew there had been Ariados here. That's terrifying. I knew there had to have been an area dose nearby. Okay. It's a okay. As long as they don't chase after me, I'm good. A lot of fungi. But then again, is it like confirmed that all Pokemon could walk? Yo, that's terrifying. Crystal Bloom. Uh. Okay. I'm okay with this. Uh, just a lot of Pokemon I just don't recognize. Which is crazy. Okay. I just prefer it with their arm, uh, eyes open. Man, you always get the best shots. Do I? Do I, though? Because I, I feel like... Oh, goodness. Okay, that's... Oh, I remember you. Okay. This makes me very happy because last episode, I said, you know, they didn't care about earlier gens. Do I still think that's true? Eh, it's a possibility, but... I think it's definitely more in depth. I think that's the best way to put it because I'm getting all these beautiful Pokemon and what the heck is that? Um, okay. Why was he glowing? Why? Why was it glowing, though? That's weird. That's super duper weird. Digivolve to... Quagumlon. And what I do like is the biggest advice that I could really give this game that it doesn't really have over the first one is it really has a more in-depth story Unlike the first game, hey, try to find Mew. And that's really it. Like, it, it's cool and all, and it's... It's one of those things where you sort of had to, if that makes sense. But... Oh, crud. Okay. Maybe you should just gave me. Okay. Um. Uh, hello. Move. Okay. If that doesn't count, I don't know what will. I've taken pictures of all the crystal blooms so far, so. If the game don't like it, tough shamoles. Dude, I feel like I'm gonna get stabbed in the jungle. Like, I don't like this at all. Oh yeah, look, they little, they walk with their roots. It, it's dead. I'm sorry. I didn't know an apple would kill a Pokemon, okay? I didn't know. 
do i feel bad nah i sort of want to see what happened what uh what would happen if we ran out of film but it, do it does look like we accidentally got another thing done as well which is nice we got two con like I, everything about this game is very 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 nicely done it's really high depth and i think this was a game that i personally wanted for a very long time nice and it's, it's very nice to play very soothing very relaxing i think i would put this so far under the weekend category but of course if you want all the pokemon i'm sure it'll take probably five days yeah sure game whatever you want because for me the hardest thing was generally picking out the best pictures and i i don't know you know when i did photography class in um high school this was one game that they actually referenced or the nintendo uh, nintendo 64 version cool wonderful so yeah i guess there is a pacific thing that you need to get perfect Don't do me dirty. Don't do me di like, is this always how it's gonna be? Cause if so, it's sort of annoying. By the way, now that we have the Crystal Bloom info, I got something to report. I hope you're excited. Okay, cool. Cause I was gonna say like, if it takes you each time to do level two, it is sort of annoying. It, it is a little bit of annoying of course granted i could be so bad at the game but i don't know great your photos gave us plenty of data to work with now i got something new to show you take a look oh is that the rare orb thingies you've been working on professor didn't you say uh they can make pokemon crystal blooms glow Exactly, they're called Luminate Orbs. Unfortunately, blue Luminate Orbs only work here on Floro Island. I suspect it's because different areas of Lentil has distinct, ty distinct types of energy flowing through them. But for now on, we want to see these re uh, our fruits in action. Watch this. Okay, I'm, 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 I'm watching. Oh, that's pretty dope. Okay. That was awesome. Oh my gosh, it's so pretty. Wow, Lentil's very own light show. What did you call it again? The Lumina Phenomenon? It's just interesting how it could occur in both Pokemon and plants. You could use these orbs to send Pokemon and Crystal Blooms into a luminant state for a little while. When you do, watch things change in their surroundings. Can we have some of those orbs to work with? Of course you can. We're going to have to try these out back in Nature Park. Okay. All right, so. Interesting. Very, very interesting. Um, do we have the, do we have the orbs? If not, I'll back out, but it is getting a little frustrating if I'm going to be honest, because doing the same route twice with nothing new is a little bit difficult. Okay. So maybe... Maybe these are... Okay. Uh, apparently I may have just completed a mission, by the way. Yeah, no, they're definitely not the gas ball. Uh, the gas is for sure. 
No, I already had that. There's no point on getting anything, but it that's definitely a new Pokemon up there. Interesting. And I don't know if it'll point out the plants, that's the thing. So I definitely gotta be careful for sure. Ooh. Wait, what? Wait, 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 I wasn't, what, huh, huh, huh? This changed my track? Yo, look at that butt, though. Okay. Very interesting. I don't know how I like it. I, I don't know how I like that it changes my track. You know, I thought you said it, it'll change the environment. But no, I, I mean, it's it's fine by me. You you gotta keep it fresh and this, this makes me very happy because it's sort of like a two-way street now where, yeah, uh, every every route that i do now isn't isn't going to be the same route so it now it sort of incentivizes me to do the route twice and everybody's sleeping which technically doesn't make sense but no even if it's just like a, a short little cue there that's fine and unlimited orbs to throw I'll take that. There you go. I'll, I'll I'll make you glow. I'll make you glow inside. Wait, what? Um. Okay. I didn't expect that. Oh. Um weird but okay. Extremely weird. You're almost at the teleport point. What? That's weird. Um, uh, yeah, I mean, great, we got better photos to a certain extent, but nothing really changed. Interesting. Don't know how I feel about it. A little disappointed. A little disappointed. There wasn't a, ch there was a tiny changed route. Oh, come on, game. Like, that's the best you gave me? Okay. Granted, like, I, I didn't really take a lot of pictures because uh, there wasn't a new route. So, or like, any anything new. But now I can make Pokemon glow? That don't make sense. I mean, this is the caveat where if if it makes me do two, then I'm fine with that, but okay. Yeah, right. And here we here we go. I mean, I'm definitely disappointed now. Okay. I'm definitely disappointed. Uh, t truth be told, I barely made that. And by the way, thanks for your progress. And and it's almost sort of like getting extremely repetitive now, which I'm extremely sad about. 
but we'll see i like i want to give the story a chance i want to give this game a chance you know a few episodes in you can't really judge a game until unfortunately it's over you see me <laughs> but no it definitely reminds me of pokemon coliseum wait already what We've got new islands to explore. I pinpointed two teleport uh, teleportation marks you could use. Oh, where? On the long narrow island and the another offshore in the middle of the water. Captain Vince never got to that spot offshore, did he? This is going to be amazing. I'll let you decide what order you want to visit them in. Keep up the good work. I mean, so far. It is definitely getting to two. Have you ever seen the suit who on another foot? You should try to get it a photo of it. Thought who who only had one foot. But that is going to be it for this episode. Oh, never mind. Hold on. How's it going? Enjoying your research. Listen, I got to tell you something. There's a feature I I originally forgot to suggest to the f professor, but I got him to add it to your research camera. It's the melody player. It lets your camera play a little tune. Mm -hmm. A little music uh, can prompt Pokemon to show you a whole new side of themselves. Rita, Rita could you fill in the details? Okay. A little music could wake a, up a sleeping Pokemon or make Pokemon get up and dance. I haven't had a chance to s try it though, so no expert yet. So next time, let's give it a whirl. All right, so this episode, we unlocked the orbs, a melody, and two new areas. I think we're actually making a lot of progress. Oh my God. Hey, I gotta tell you something. This is just between me and you, okay? You're not gonna believe this, but the new feature on the Ni Nuo, the professor's testing out, apparently shrinks the whole pod to whoever's riding it. Wanna take it out for a little test pin? Oh, hey, you two, what you doing? Nothing. Oh, professor, hey, cut it out. Look, I'll explain later, okay? Anyway, the shrink function could uh, sure kick in automatically if you run into a scan at one point at Nature Park. So let's find that spot. Okay. I I could I could be in tune to that, if you will. So we have Nature Park, a new area on Nature Park to go in. We have Blushing Beach, and we have the sw uh, Sweltering Sands. I feel like that's a Mario level. But we have several ways to go, and I'm sure this is going to be the final area. But without further ado, thank you everybody for watching. This has been Joe Wild Plays. I hope you're happy because you made me happy. Take care, and I'll see you all soon. If you like what you saw and heard today, please do consider subscribing if you haven't already done so. Take care, and I'll see you all real soon. Bye-bye.